I love September and October because at this time of the year you can get some of the biggest bass of the season. And the best pattern I've found that works up here in Northern Ontario are big smelt patterns or big minnow patterns. I'm going to show you my fly box. I've got a lot of different ones I like to use and why I like to use them. Probably the number one fly I like to, to uh, cast this time of year because it's light, easy, and super effective is this fly, the Murdich minnow. Uh, it's about four and a half to five inches long, very lightweight, lots of synthetic materials, and what's unique to it, it's got a rattle inside. And so it just gives off noise, it's got lots of shimmer, it's the right silhouette, and you throw this with an intermediate line or a sink tip, and the smallmouth just hammer this thing. So this is a great pattern. Next pattern I like to use is the BK baitfish. Really effective fly. You got this paddle tail back here that works. It's the right silhouette. The red here that uh, you know imitates the gills. But again, a very effective pattern on certain fly lines, getting down to five to fifteen feet. Next fly I like to use, one that's become very popular these last few years, and that is the Game Changer. Now this fly I find is a little bit heavy. Um, I like to use a seven weight instead of a six weight to cast it, because it does absorb a bit of uh, water, and with the uh, metal body on the inside that makes it that the tail wiggles, but it's so effective. You give it a strip and it does that little wiggle, and then I find the bass will hit on the paws. Really, really effective. Everybody has to have a clouser in their box, and I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what time of the year, they always work. This one's, uh, again, about five inches long, up to six inches long. White, really effective. Uh, white and chartreuse, and white and tan up here in Northern Ontario. I think it just has that right um, silhouette to look like a smelt, and of course, with the barbell eyes, it helps you to give it almost a jigging motion when you're stripping it in because it's starting to dive like it's trying to get away and the bass will hit it on, on its descent. Next two flies, these ones um, are ones I tied and they're based on Frank Smelt, which is uh, a popular pattern designed by a, a gentleman from Northern Michigan. I'm using craft fur for the body here. Uh, this really undulates in the water beautifully when you're giving it little pulls and I, again I find you give it a strip or two and on the paws the bass will hit. And this just beautifully moves underwater this craft for tan and white. And this one doesn't have a weighted head. This one does. This has got a fish skull head and chartreuse. Really, really effective. This one's great because if I'm trying to get it deep, sometimes the smallmouth and they're busting on the smelt, they're down at 10, 12, 15 feet. I use an intermediate liner or that sink tip to get it down but this helps it get down there quicker. Really, really effective. And again, the craft fur being utilized here to get it to move and have a lifelike appearance. So in my fly box, I got lots of different patterns, but I would say these six in different color, um, color uh, patterns work really well. Number one, undoubtedly, Murnich Minnow. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. For videos like the one you just saw and more, subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss our weekly uploads of educational videos, exciting trips, and much more.